another lecture of quantum mechanics. In this, uh, we'll talk about wave function. Great. So uh, this is an abstract concept. It's a mathematical concept. It does not have a physical meaning as such. Um, we had learned in earlier lectures that um, De Bruyne proposed an hypothesis which stated that uh, any elementary particle or the microscope particles in microscopic domain have wave function uh, like we have wave like behavior. All right. So if something has a wave like behavior, it should have some. It should follow some kind of wave equation, right? So and that wave equation uh, might be a we'll see in the next future lectures that it is the Schrodinger equation, which the solution of which is a differential equation, the solution of which is a wave function. All right. Now the wave function itself doesn't have any physical interpretation. Okay. So in physics, we, what we do is we do experiments, we see the results and we try to build a theoretical framework. All right. So, uh, keeping in line on uh, with the, those things that um, we need to discuss what a wave function is and then use it uh, as we progress along the lectures okay so what it is it is it basically gives you the wave form the wave function gives you the wave form of the de Broglie wave of the particle okay so it is a variable it is a variable quantity that mathematically that mathematically describes the wave characteristics that mathematically describes the wave characteristics of a particle okay so we're not talking about microscopic objects we're talking about uh, those objects whose uh, de Broglie wave lengths are more than the size or the equivalent to the size of the uh, particle all right now in 1d psi is written like this psi of xt we use mostly the we use psi for the wave function in quantum mechanics so in this thing uh, what we have is uh, the this uh, sorry um, we have x is the position coordinate so we when we write 1d it means 1d space okay so x is the position coordinate or the wave function is one dimensional and t is the time coordinate Okay, in three dimension, a wave function is re represented by uh, x, y, z, and t. Okay, or it is equivalently represented by r vector, which is the position vector x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap. So, this is a position vector. Right. So, to list down the properties of wave function, uh, so the first one is that psi itself has no physical interpretation. No in physical interpretation. Okay. So let me tell you one thing I have already told it in previous lectures. If you are looking at this video for the first time or in, this is just the first video you are looking at in the series of lectures. I have repeatedly told uh, students that uh, while you are watching the video, you should uh, note down the things. Okay, make a note, make a note of yourself so that uh, it you can retain those things later on. Just watching the video won't help you much. Okay, well, 
analytic analysis you work out or you interact with the uh, topic uh, like the uh, medium like if you are reading a book or you are seeing a video unless and until you do it yourself you don't learn much okay uh, all right so the next point is the born approval interpretation now sai somebody okay fine we got the sai now what to do with it so what do we do is born given an interpretation or uh, it's a statistical interpretation saying that the psi see psi is can be negative as well as positive a wave function can be negative as well as positive but uh, its interpretation was given as such that that if you take a mod square okay uh, ev evaluated evaluated at a particular point particular place i say at a particular time is proportional to is proportional to the probability of finding probability of finding the particle there at that time okay so this was the interpretation given by max bond all right um, and we'll uh, follow this thing and from this from this uh, wave function although, although wave function does not have a physical interpretation but we can find a lot of things for uh, we can uh, measure a lot of quantities which are relevant okay like we can measure the linear momentum of the particle we can measure the angular momentum of the particle sorry so we can can find measure the energy of the particle of the particle can be established and be established from psi okay so now another observation is that psi the wave function the wave function or the wave function is usually is usually complex with both with both real and imaginary part real and imaginary part All right now the the thing is that psi the, the wave function is a solution to schrodinger equation okay and schrodinger equation itself is a uh, it has a complex part to it okay so that's why the psi can be real or it can be a complex now the probability density is calculated like this if you look at the probability density which we now this thing this this quantity is a probability density Okay, so probability density okay so this is given by psi mod square okay which is psi star psi okay now this psi as we said it can be, have a complex form so this is let it be like this where a and b are some real functions a and b are real functions now we know that probability as a, as the probability density are real quantities okay what well, probability is a real quantity okay that it's a real number which lies between 0 and 1 now the probability density should also have the same uh, thing so if you have psi star so this is what conjugate 
this represents a conjugate which is will replace will replace plus iota by minus iota okay this is a complex conjugate all right whenever we mark a star this is known as complex conjugate all right so if we do write this we know that the mod square can from complex numbers we know that this can be written as this and if we do this calculation if we write down uh, this psi star psi what we get we get a square plus b square now this being a real function this being a real function if we if the square of it and we add them it will always be greater than zero okay so this has this is this is comes out to be a real as well as positive quantity if you find these uh, lectures useful then please uh, like like subscribe and uh, share with your friends 